Hello, and welcome to Hugh Ought to Know, Hewitt's How to Measure Video Series. My name is Alex, and today we will be talking about one of the most critically important pieces of lifting hardware, eye bolts. An eye bolt is a bolt or fastener with a threaded shank at one end and a round loop on the other. Since they are the fastener used to hold machinery or equipment that hangs overhead, it is imperative that we cover all aspects of their measurement here. For this measurement, you will need two pieces of equipment your calipers, and either an inch or metric bolt gauge like I have here. There are three types of lifting eye bolts, and each is designed to perform different and specialized duties. Plain eye bolts are for inline lifting only, not to be used at an angle. Shoulder eye bolts have extra strength at the base of the eye to support angled lifting. Bent eye bolts are designed for lashing or suspension and are not to be used for lifting. Plain eye bolts feature a fully closed loop on one end and a threaded shank at the other, predominantly used for permanent mounting to either industrial machinery or equipment used for lifting. Bent eye bolts are slightly different from plain eye bolts in that the loop at one end is not entirely closed. These bolts are used for through-hole applications, such as suspension or lashing, and are not suited for lifting. For our purposes today, we will be showcasing shoulder eye bolts as they are suited for the jobs of the two previous types, as well as angular lifting. When measuring an eye bolt, it is important to note the following. Working load limit, thread size, shank length, eye diameter, lifting angles, mating components, and application environment. Only a few of these are involved in the actual measurement, but all of them determine the bolt's strength and utility. There are three key elements to consider when measuring an eye bolt. The shank length and diameter, which greatly affect the strength of the bolt. The eye diameter, which aids in determining the thickness of the ring and what material can be threaded through it. And the overall length of the bolt from end to end. Finding the diameter of the shank is as simple as taking your bolt gauge and threading the bolt through its respective size on the gauge to ensure that you've found the correct diameter. The eye bolt should fully engage with the correct thread gauge size with both minimal resistance and minimal looseness. If the two threads are not binding or not fully connected, try other sizes until you find one that resolves both of these issues. After that, take your calipers and measure from just underneath the eye to the end of the shank to find your length. These are the two most important measurements as they directly affect the bolt's working load limit. Measuring the eye diameter allows us to determine its thickness, as well as the materials that can be passed through the eye. Be sure to measure both the interior and exterior diameters, just like I'm doing here. Finally, we will measure the overall length of the bolt from the top of the eye to the bottom of the shank. Now that we have our measurements, what exactly do we do with them? As the angle of your lift increases, the working load limit of your eye bolt decreases accordingly. This means that if at a 5 degree angle a bolt with a half inch shank diameter can lift 2600 pounds, that same bolt will only be rated for 2080 pounds at a 15 degree angle. It is important to keep your working load limit in mind at all times to prevent any unnecessary incidents. When measuring eye bolts, there is a lot to consider, but as long as you utilize the tips and instructions in this video, you can use them safely and efficiently. If you still have questions after watching, please visit our website at www.hewitt.com or give one of our customer service representatives a call at 785-392-3017. Until next time, I've been your host, Alex Farr, and did you know that the first patent for an eye bolt was filed in 1891, but the current design wasn't approved until 1989? Well, you oughta. Thanks for watching.